वेलकम ऑल टुडे वी शैल डिस्कस द पॉम पॉसिबिलिटीज बाय विस्लावा सिम्बोर्स्का अबाउट द पॉइट विस्लावा सिम्बोर्स्का वॉज बॉर्न ऑन सेकेंड जुलाई नाइनटीन ट्वेंटी थ्री इन बिन इन वेस्टर्न पॉलिंड एंड शी मूव टू क्रैक इन नाइनटीन When World War II broke out in 1939, she continued her education in underground classes. From 1943, she worked as a railroad employee and managed to avoid being deported to Germany as a forced laborer. Her first published poem, "I Seek the World," appeared in a Krakow newspaper in March 1945. Simborska studied Polish literature and sociology at Jagiellonian University from 1945 to 1948. She began to work at the literary review magazine ZZ Literaki or Literary Life in 1953, a job she held for nearly 30 years. Wisława Simborska died on February 1st, 2012 at the age of 88. Her collections of poetry. Zimborska has authored 16 books of poetry, which includes Monologue of a Dog, Miracle Fair, Poems New and Collected from 1957 to 1997, View with a Grain of Sand, People on a Bridge, Sounds, Feelings, Thoughts, 70 Poems, Nothing Twice, Nothing Is a Gift, Moment, etc. She is also the author of. Non required reading published in 2002 which is a collection of prose pieces Awards and achievements She has been called the Mozart of poetry and she has received the following awards The Goethe Prize in 1991 Herder Prize 1995 Degree of Honorary Doctor of Letters of Poznan University 1995 Polish Pen Club Prize 1996 Nobel Prize in Literature in 1996 So let's get into the poem possibilities and this poem is taken from the collection Nothing Twice I prefer movies I prefer cats I prefer the ox along the Warta I prefer Dickens to the Stoyevsky I prefer my self-liking people to my self-loving mankind. I prefer keeping a needle and thread on hand just in case. I prefer the color green. I prefer not to maintain that reason is to blame for everything. I prefer exceptions. I prefer to leave early. I prefer talking to doctors about something else. I prefer the old fine line illustrations. I prefer the absurdity of writing poems to the absurdity of not writing poems. I prefer where love is concerned non specific anniversaries that can be celebrated every day. I prefer moralist who promise me nothing. I prefer cunning kindness to the over trustful kind. I prefer the earth in cities. I prefer conquered to conquering countries. I prefer having some reservations. I prefer the hell of chaos to the hell of order. I prefer Grimm's fairy tales to the newspapers front pages. I prefer leaves without flowers to flowers without leaves. I prefer dogs with uncropped tails. I prefer light eyes since mine are dark. I prefer destroyers. I prefer many things that I haven't mentioned here to many things I have also left unsaid. I prefer zeros on the loose to those lined up behind a cipher. I prefer the time of insects to the time of stars. I prefer to to know count wood I prefer not to ask how much longer and when. I prefer keeping in mind even the possibility that existence has its own reason for being. So here is how the poem ends. 
the theme of the poem life offers a multitude of choices from its repository of mysteries and it is the individual's discretion to select what he needs the choices we make are valid and convincing in our own right and since life has so much to offer one can never confine oneself to only one set of perspective turning to something always involves turning away from many other possibilities it is true that we have to choose from whatever possibilities we have around us and when we choose one we are moving away from many other possibilities and this poem can be analyzed through the lens of relativism humanism naturalism holism versus reductionism and existentialism relativism the poet speaks about her preferences in the poem and we can see that her preferences are all related to everyday life we can see the simple and tangible objects around us in this poem it includes movies cats the oak trees along the river vorta the color green old fine lined illustrations earth in civilian clothes grim's fairy tales dogs with uncropped tails light eyes destroyers etc in some cases she mentions her preferences to uh, a relative object while in some others she just tells her choice not suggesting the relational object so we can see that in the line i prefer cats she is not mentioning to what is she preferring the cats i prefer the cats to what she is not mentioning that while in some other lines we can see that she mentions her preference i prefer dickens to dostoevsky so here she says that she prefers the english novelist dickens to the russian novelist dostoevsky and the poet does not substantiate the reasons for her choices she doesn't tell us why she prefers it other than in her choice of light eyes as she owns dark ones only in this line we can see that i prefer it because of this reason and nowhere in the poem does she say that her preferences are the best so relativism is sometimes identified as the thesis that all points of view are equally valid in ethics this amounts to saying that all moralities are equally good in epistemology it implies that all beliefs or belief systems are equally true my truth is relative to my perspective humanism Humanism involves the study of man his problems and the solutions he formulates the philosophy posits that the human perspective is necessary to perceive the world and to understand it Simborska shows herself as a humanist in the poem she says i prefer my self liking people to my self loving mankind she speaks about loving people She tells that individuals are both unique and real and that each one of them must be accorded the attention and importance that they deserve. She says, "I prefer cunning kindness to the over trustful kind." And kindness is one of the noble qualities of humanity. Her views on human kind are permeated with astute detachment. She prefers discerning kindness to blind faith. I prefer the earth in civis I prefer conquered to conquering countries so Simborska lived during the reign of uh, I mean during the era of uh, the second world war during the period of second world war and she is a personal witness to the horrifying events in history so her poems are always specific catry denouncing wars and repressing and repressive powers she always sells herself with the oppressed and the hapless she prefers to see the people in civilian clothes and not in military uniforms this shows her urge to see a peaceful world devoid of war
and in the political context this poem can be considered as a statement regarding the oppression Poland suffered under Germany and USSR when these foreign powers took control of the country during the 20th century that is why she prefers conquered to conquering countries naturalism naturalism holds that man is a part of nature and owes his existence to nature and its forces the poet expresses her preferences for the natural things uh, we can see cats octrees along the river water dogs with uncropped tails time of insects to the time of stars extra in this poem so a man nature relationship is established holism versus reductionism reductionism and holism are two different approaches in psychology that researchers use to create experiments and draw conclusions so reductionism likes to divide explanations of behavior into separate components while uh, holism look likes to look at the picture as a whole she says i prefer myself liking people to myself loving mankind which determines that she prefers individuals over the masses the love for humanity is a deceptive slogan that illusioned so many people around the world simborska says that one should rather love individual people we have to love the people around us then only we can love the humanity at large and we can also see that there is a preference for concrete to abstract notions the poet reflects on the ordinary experiences she moves from an anthropocentric to anthropomorphic attitude so anthropocentric is the belief that human beings are the most important entity in the universe and anthropomorphism is the attribution of human characteristics or behavior to non-human entities including animals so simborska gives voice to things animate and projects possible perspectives of objects other than human by moving away from the center one is also presented with a number of interesting observations which are often missed out and sometimes even carelessly overlooked as a result of this anthropocentric perspective so one has to move away from a centrist dogmatism probe into reality and ask questions or life will be bereft of its multiplicity and variety and other possibilities existentialism existentialism is the philosophy that interprets the human existence in the world and stresses its concreteness and problematic character existence is always particular and individual Uh, to say i exist you exist she or he exists so it is always particular and individual and it is also the investigation of the meaning of being that investigation is continually faced with diverse possibilities from among which the existence that is the human individual must make a selection to which he must then commit himself because these possibilities are constituted by the individual's relationship with things and with other humans existence is always a being in the world that is in a concrete and historically determined situation that limits or conditions choice zimborska has tried to bring out particular things in this poem which makes her a world She mentions her preferences that makes her existence in relation to it. She has tried to bring out the ordinary things in everyday life that add to the beauty of human existence. Simborska weaves in uh, the imaginary of eternity in a momentary experience of the here and now. And the poem ends with the line I prefer keeping in mind even the possibility that existence has its own reason for being Now let's look into the literary devices used in the poem First one is allusion Allusion is an expression of indirect reference and this can be seen for example in the line I prefer the ox along the water 
This line suggests that the poem is someone who is very much acquainted with the oak trees along the river Vorta in Poland. It alludes to her nationality. Juxtaposition. Juxtaposition is the fact of two things being seen or placed close together with contrasting effect. The use of juxtaposition is seen when she says, I prefer myself liking people to myself loving mankind, which de determines that she likes the individuals over the masses. Enjambment. Enjambment is the continuation of a sentence without a pause beyond the end of a line, couplet or stanza. So she says, I prefer not to maintain that reason is to blame for everything. The first line runs into the second line and gives a complete whole meaning. Repetition Simborska uses repetition of I prefer in order to emphasize that all love involves a choice which implies that there is always a need to give up loving something else. Thank you all for your patient listening. I hope you all enjoyed the poem. And as the poet says, life offers us a multitude of choices from its repository of mysteries. So it's up to us to decide what we need and what we have to choose. And the choices we make for ourselves define us. Thank you so much. Have a great day.